Now the Moving the Goalpost team based in Kilifi will get an opportunity to take the fight for gender equality to a global platform when they take part at the Global Goals World Cup Finals in New York. The team was selected after winning the Global Goals World Cup tournament held at the Impala Grounds on Sunday. Post, a Kilifi based organization that uses football to address gender disparity in the county put together a team that joined 27 other teams that took part in the Global Goals World Cup held at the Impala Grounds. With each team picking a goal to play for from the 16 Global Goals, it was an easy pick for the Kilifi based girls. Most girls, come as you channel, what to know that I'll do what to know, it's like a 25 of it mob. Tunaonekana tuko duni sana. Sasa ndo MTG ika come up na ika take your goal ili wasichana pia nao waonekane kwa yeah they can do something better than boys pia. MTG yenyewe ilianza 2001 ambao this time iko na around 16 years. Na ilianzishwa ili to empower girls to do football. Most of the players at the Moving the Goalposts use football to escape from poverty and may have found the going at the Global World Cup too smooth due to their experience. The experience led to their win that will offer them a well-deserved opportunity to score goals as they push for gender equality at the Global World Cup Finals in New York in September. The Global Goals World Cup is an open women's amateur soccer tournament designed to expand the scope of a conventional sport. According to the World Cup co-founder, Majen Gil Martin, it's basically playing for change. Activating for the sustainable development goals, but doing it through sports. And sport has that, uh, for us, it has that you know playfulness to it, but also you work in a group as a person, so you're not alone. Of doing something for the goals or doing something on the field, you do it with something else, someone else. And I do think that, in a sense, stronger together as groups, you know. But why use women to steer global change and achieve goals that are not exclusive to women? I think women is, for me, they're amazing to work with. You know, I think they are mobilizers beyond everything. I mean, they're really good at getting things done. And, and uh, I think if we kind of encourage more and more women to go onto the field, so to speak, the world scene, to, uh, to take actions, we're going to see some, some, you know, amazing actions. Kenya hosted the first Global Goals World Cup on African soil, where teams from Ethiopia, Uganda and Somali participated. 